G'day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer. Today I'm outside the Dolby PCYC, which is a place where a lot of people in our town go for exercise, but also to socialize and to have a lot of fun. And so it's been a real disappointment for a lot of people, including my wife, that the Dolby PCYC has been closed during COVID restrictions. In John chapter 16, Jesus speaks into the disappointments of his followers. He talks about how he's going away. He talks about how they will have sorrow and they will have tribulation and times will get hard. But he also gives them a basis for hope. He says, I have to go in order for the Holy Spirit to come. And he also says that he will be resurrected. He also talks about how he will go away, but then he will come back. And one day, all of his disciples will be able to walk in his presence and will be able to speak with him plainly and have all their questions answered. Friends, we can have comfort when we have disappointment because of the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus talks about how in him, the best is always yet to come and that Although our lives will have tribulation and disappointment, he has overcome the world. We can also take heart because of the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit shows us and guides us and helps us through hard times. And so at the end of John 16, Jesus says these incredibly encouraging words. He says, I have told you these things so that you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Friends, our Lord Jesus Christ is an overcomer and in him we can become overcomers too. I want to pray for you now a prayer for morning prayer from Monday morning prayer from a prayer book for Australia which says this, God did not give us a spirit of cowardice but a spirit of power and of self-discipline. May we, may we rekindle the gift, of, the gift of God within us. Amen. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time.